Hi, and welcome to the Atomic Web Interface, or AWI, version 21. This video shows the following AWI 21 highlights. Drag and drop to insert tasks in schedule objects. Enhancements in FARA objects. Comprehensive tooltips in workflow tasks. Interactive traffic lights in the process monitoring perspective. With the extended drag and drop functionality in version 21, designing schedule objects is easier and faster than ever. You can now drag tasks from the Explorer, from the global search drop-down list, and from the advanced search list, and drop them into the schedules task list. Let's see how to drag tasks from the Explorer. You have two options. Open the Explorer and the schedule object in two separate browser windows and arrange them side by side on your screen. This is especially useful if you are using multiple screens. Then drag and drop. Alternatively, if you're running out of screen estate, you can also drag between tabs. Open the Explorer and the Schedule object in the same browser window, but in two different tabs. Drag the task in the Explorer and drop it into the Schedule Browser tab. And by the way, you can do exactly the same from the Advanced Search list. You can also drag and drop tasks from the Global Search drop-down list into the Schedule object. Let's search for the object that we want to insert in the Schedule. Once I've found it, I simply drag and drop it. This version introduces three major enhancements in the VARA objects. You can now copy the content of a static VARA object to another one, either on the same client, on a different client, or in a completely different automation engine system. This video shows how to copy the content of a static VARA object to another one that resides on a different client within the same automation engine system. When I select one or more rows in one of the static VARA objects, their content is copied to the clipboard. Then I can paste it to the other object. You can also paste the content of the VARA object to a third-party tool, such as Google Sheets, Excel, and so on. The only prerequisite for this is that you use HTTPS on the Atomic Web Interface. This video shows how to paste the content of a static VARA object to a Google Sheets document. Another major enhancement lets you export the preview results of VARA objects. When you configure VARA objects, you can test them by running the statements that you define in the VARA object. Then you can preview the results. As of version 21, you can export the preview results to a CSV file. All rows and columns are exported. Apart from exporting the content of the preview results, as of this version, you can also copy it. The preview table has a copy button in the toolbar now. You can select one or more rows in the table and click copy. The selected rows are copied to the clipboard and you can paste them to a third-party tool such as Google Sheets, Excel or a text editor. We have also introduced major changes to the workflow tooltips in this release, both in the workflow editor and in the monitor. Let's have a look at the monitor. The upper section shows the task name, title or alias. The second section displays the status of the task. The third one shows the task details, such as run ID, agent on which it runs and so forth. The bottom section also displays the object properties that contain values or configurations. The same applies to the workflow editor. Let's see an example. This job should run on Mondays only. So I define a calendar condition. If I hover over the task, the tooltip displays this information now. The last new feature that we're going to show in this video is in the process monitoring perspective. As of this version, the traffic lights in the status bar of the process monitoring perspective do not only indicate how many tasks are in each of the five statuses. Now you can click a traffic light to select it and filter the list of tasks by that status. Click more than one traffic light to filter the list by various statuses. 
The traffic lights are synchronized with both the quick filter on the left pane and with the task filter on the right pane. Activating one or more traffic lights sets both filters accordingly. Thank you for watching this video. 